Have you ever thought about how our closest neighbor looked like? Does that planet contain life? How far our neighbor is? All these answer you will get in this video. Kepler 22 bits our closest neighbor. Amongst the many potentially habitable exoplanets, Kepler 22 bits is probably the most promising. Because of this, the planet is extremely celebrated, but the reason for this is twofold. Astronomers have confirmed the discovery of an Earth-like planet, which they say could be a potential future home for mankind outside the solar system. The planet, Kepler 22 bits, lies about 600 light years away and is 2.4 times the size of Earth and has a temperature of about 22 degrees Celsius. It is the closest confirmed planet yet to one like ours, an Earth 2O, says a team at NASA. The new planet, confirmed by the astronomers using the U.S. Space Agency's Kepler telescope, contains both land and water and has the right atmosphere to potentially support life. One of the key criteria for a planet to be habitable is that it remains roughly the right distance from its main star to be neither too cold nor too hot. And the team says that the Kepler 22 bits is in the habitable zone around a star not unlike our own. However, does not yet know if Kepler 22 bits, where a year lasts 290 days and first spotted two years ago, is made mostly of rock, gas, or liquid. When Kepler 22 bits discover? The search for worlds outside our solar system has been ongoing for centuries, but has really only taken shape in the last few decades. The first confirmed detection of an extrasolar world was confirmed only in the 1990s. NASA first announced Kepler 22 bits as part of a set of 54 habitable planet candidates in February 2011. All of these planets were found by the Kepler Space Telescope. The telescope looks for alien worlds by measuring dips in the parent star's light as the planet zooms across the star. By December 2011, astronomers were able to confirm Kepler 22 bits' existence. Scientists published about it in the Astrophysical Journal. At the conference, NASA announced Kepler had found more than 1,000 new exoplanet candidates. By June 2017, Kepler had discovered more than 4,000 planets and potential planets. Kepler 22 bits also orbits a G star class sun like our sun, but the exoplanet star is a little bit smaller and colder. Investigators praise the find as helping to fulfill Kepler's mission of finding another Earth. Kepler telescope used the transit method to detect extrasolar planets. Pointing itself at specific regions of the sky, Kepler telescope would measure the apparent brightness of stars, looking for intermittent dips in the amount of light making its way to the aperture. A decrease in the apparent light suggested the transit of an object. But that wasn't enough to confirm the existence of a planet. Any number of phenomena can cause a temporary reduction in the brightness of a star. That's why Kepler required at least three dimming events at repeated intervals in order to confirm the existence of a planet. Kepler telescope was designed in such a way that it was able to continuously view an entire region of space, not just one specific star. This was important because transit events can be brief, and breaking contact might mean missing them. Is life out there? An overwhelming percentage of the newly discovered candidates are small planets, and 48 of these candidates are in the so-called habitable zone, an area where temperatures are just right for life to form. Astronomers are thus zooming on Earth's twin rapidly, raising the possibility of answering one of our most profound questions. Is there life outside Earth? It is one of the overarching goals of NASA to find life outside the Earth, says Jim Casting. Casting researches the possibility of habitable zones around stars and had shown that they are wider than previously thought. Kepler 22 bits is smack in the middle of the habitable zone around its star. It is also the first habitable zone planet orbiting a sun-like star. The other two such planets, Gliese 581 and HD 85,512 bits, orbit smaller and cooler stars and are also on the edge of the habitable zone. Kepler 22 bits is 2.4 times the size of the Earth. Its mass is not known yet, and it is 600 light years away. The jury is still out on this planet. It is too far away to get a mass estimate quickly, 
but astronomers are excited by the discovery of three candidates for extraterrestrial life so quickly. Given the uncertainties, it's premature to consider Kepler-22 bits a habitable Earth-like planet. But the detection of the first Kepler planet to lie comfortably within the theoretical habitable zone of its host star is still very exciting. Kepler has been carrying out observations for long enough now that at least some potentially habitable worlds will have transited their host stars the minimum of three times required for firm detection. And the longer the satellite goes on observing, the more transits by such planets will be observed. The Kepler mission has discovered more than a thousand new planets since the mission was launched in March of 2009. Originally, it was meant to last until 2016. But late last few year, two of its four reaction wheels failed and made normal operations impossible. Thus, the primary mission was abandoned. Though, even now, the observatory is still at work on other tasks. But when it was still in working order, it found Kepler-22 bits and other planets by looking for a decrease of light that occurs when a planet passes in front of its star from Earth's perspective. Imagine searching for a minuscule black spot obstructing a tiny bit of light emitted against the backdrop of a nuclear furnace. It's difficult. Remember the transit of Venus that took place in 2012? It's kind of like that, only on a much larger scale. As you might have already guessed, Kepler-22 bits is a very important symbol for exoplanet hunters interested in finding Earth-like planets. Years of data collected by Kepler still needs to be to pick through, so it is very possible that the perfect Earth-like planet is floating somewhere in there. Can human live on Kepler? Since the discovery of Kepler-22 bits, there has been a lot of speculation about the planet's habitability and whether it could support human life. We will explore the characteristics of Kepler-22 bits and the challenges that humans would face if they were to attempt to live on this distant planet. Kepler-22 bits, a super-Earth in the habitable zone. Kepler-22 bits is classified as a super-Earth, which means that it is a planet that is larger than Earth but smaller than the gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. The planet is about 2.4 times the size of Earth and has a mass that is estimated to be between 5 and 36 times that of Earth. One of the most exciting things about Kepler-22 bits is that it orbits in the habitable zone of its star. The habitable zone is the range of distances from a star where the temperature is just right for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet. Liquid water is essential for life as we know it, so the discovery of a planet in the habitable zone is a significant milestone in the search for life beyond our solar system. Kepler-22 bits orbits its star once every 290 days, which is very similar to Earth's orbital period of 365 days. The planet's surface temperature is estimated to be between minus 11 and 22 degrees Celsius, which is also similar to Earth's temperature range. However, there are some important differences between Kepler-22 bits and Earth that could make it difficult for humans to live on this distant planet. Atmosphere and Surface Conditions One of the biggest challenges for humans to live on Kepler-22 bits is the planet's atmosphere and surface conditions. The planet's size and mass suggest that it may have a thick atmosphere that could cause high atmospheric pressure at the surface. The planet's surface conditions are also likely to be very different from Earth's. Kepler-22 bits is likely to have a rocky surface, but it may not have a magnetic field to protect its atmosphere from the solar wind. Without a magnetic field, the planet's atmosphere could be stripped away by the intense radiation from its star. The planet's atmosphere may also be very different from Earth's. The planet's distance from its star and the composition of its atmosphere could result in a much colder or much hotter surface temperature than what we experience on Earth. Another important factor to consider is the planet's gravity. Kepler-22 bits has a mass that is much greater than Earth's, which means that the planet's surface gravity is likely to be much stronger. This could make it difficult for humans to move around and perform tasks that we take for granted on Earth. Radiation and Stellar Flares Another significant challenge for humans to live on Kepler-22 bits is the planet's exposure to radiation and stellar flares. The planet orbits very close to its star, which means that it is likely to be bombarded by high levels of radiation and intense stellar flares. 
Stellar flares are eruptions of energy from a star's surface that can release as much energy as a billion atomic bombs. These flares can cause significant damage to a planet's atmosphere and surface, and they could be particularly harmful to any life that exists on Kepler-22 bits. Radiation exposure is also a significant concern for humans living on Kepler-22 bits. The intense radiation from the planet's star could increase the risk of cancer and other health problems for humans. Even if humans were able to develop technology to shield themselves from the radiation, the constant exposure could make it difficult to sustain long-term human habitation on the planet. In conclusion, Kepler 22 bits is a fascinating planet that offers a glimpse into the diversity of planets that exist beyond our solar system. The discovery of a planet in the habitable zone of its star is a significant milestone in the search for life beyond Earth. However, there are significant challenges that would need to be overcome for humans to live on Kepler 22 bits. The planet's thick atmosphere, extreme surface conditions, strong gravity, and exposure to radiation and stellar flares are all significant obstacles to human habitation. Despite these challenges, the study of exoplanets like Kepler 22 bits is essential for understanding the potential for life beyond our solar system. As our technology and understanding of these distant planets continue to advance, we may one day be able to explore and even inhabit these distant worlds. That's all in this video. If you like the information, please hit like and subscribe to this channel and be connected to this channel for more space information.